Well, I'd like to show you how to draw the perfect circle. Would you like to draw circles like this one? Is it good? Or this one? Is it better? Or this one? Is it good enough? So, what's the definition of a circle? A circle is uh, an amount of uh, points that have a certain distance from another point that's called the center of the circle. So, is it necessary for this another point to be in the, in the same plane as the other points of the circle? No, it's not necessary. This other point could be our wrist, or elbow, or shoulder. So let's watch what happens if we use them correctly. If I want to draw a circle with a medium diameter, so I could use my elbow. This is the certain point from which the other points have a certain distance, which remains constant during this operation. Okay, so my, soul, my elbow remains in the same certain place so that the, its distance from the other points of the circle remain constant. Let's watch it. I'm using my elbow. Is this circle good enough? Now, I would like to draw a circle with, uh, a better, um, uh, with a larger diameter. So, I could use my elbow. Let's use our elbows. Our elbow should remain constant in the same place. Is the circle good enough? Now, I'd like to use my wrist. Using my wrist, I could draw a circle with uh, a smaller diameter. So let's watch it. So this circle, using my wrist, has a smaller diameter. I would like to show you now how to draw a perfect circle on a piece of paper without using any geometrical apparatus, just your hands. So let's use it. Well, I would like to show you now how to draw a perfect circle on a just the sheet of paper. So what's the standard distance here? The distance here is between the nail and the point of the pen. So keeping this distance, this distance constant, we can push our nail towards the paper and lay our pen down. Now I'm keeping my hand steady while I'm turning the piece of paper. I'm keeping my hair steady so and I'm keeping and turning the piece of paper. This is the perfect circle I draw. So let's use it for another time. Let's see it, how it happens for another time. I'm pushing my nail down. I prefer to use this point of my nail while I'm pushing so, uh, to the, our pen towards the paper. I'm turning the, pa the paper while I'm keeping steady my hand. So here I have the perfect circle. I can reduce the diameter of the circle by just reducing this distance. Or I can increase this distance so I can increase the diameter of the circle. Well, my students always ask me, how can I draw so perfectly circles? So now you know the secret. So go practice yourself and uh, have a good luck making the perfect circle. Goodbye.